Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this morning, I wanted to test the antennas, the HF antennas that I tested yesterday. I did an empirical test, and of course, you know, there's a ton of variables, and I don't know if it, the test results meant anything. But I want to test the same th three antennas, HF antennas, using my MFJ226, <coughs> excuse me, graphic antenna analyzer. So I've got it hooked up, and the beauty of this analyzer is it has a PC program that can plot the data for you and save it for that matter. So I'm going to show you that right now, or try to show it to you right now. And it's right over here. Here it is. And it's running right now. And it, I've got it set up. You can set it up for various ranges. I got it set up to start at 3 megahertz and scan to 30 megahertz and measure the SWR. The SWR is an indication of how well the antenna is matched to a certain frequency. When receiving, it's not as important, but it's still an indication, meaning that if the SWR is low for a for certain frequency, reception may be better than you know, on a frequency that the SWR is high. Is high. That it's just an indication. It's very important if you're going to transmit on the antenna. You need to get that SWR down to like two to one or less. Okay, so we were testing a station on 7.2 something megahertz. So if we go over to here, and right now I've got the 31 foot, no, 31 meter dipole hooked up. The 31 meter dipole. And if I come over here, and right here, up here, shows the frequency and the reading. And this is real time. It's continuing to run to run the test. So I'm looking for about 7.2. And there is a point at 7.3. And it's saying the SWR is about 4.8. So remember that. I'm going to write it down. 4.8 for the 31 meter dipole. 31 meter dipole. That's 4.8. Now I'm going to switch antennas. Probably shouldn't be doing this with it on, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, and unplug it. I have to add an adapter in this case because I don't. The cable doesn't have the right connector. These next two have B and C connectors on the cable. The next one is the MFJ 31 foot vertical antenna. So it's now connecting, and it's going to update. And there we go. That. That one looks pretty good. At 7.3, it's 2.0. So that's the uh, 31 footer. It's 2.0, much better than the dipole. And you can see, you know, it's not so good at uh, other frequencies, although the maximum here is about uh, 20 something. So it's not, it's pretty good across the band here. So we're going to go to the the last of the three, which is the infed, and we're going to connect it up quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, so now it's connected. Now it's up there. It is. It's updated. So at uh, 7.2, 7.3, 7 7.3, right, right there. No, nope. right. No, nope, not yet. There. Whoop! I had 7.7.3. The SWR is 27. So if you go back to the previous show where I actually did that empirical test on the antennas, the MFJ was decisively better at this frequency than the other two. The NFED, um, I think, was second, and the... Um, 31 meter dipole, it was designed for listing on 31 meters. It was about, it came in second, but is very close to being third. So this kind of indicates the same thing I got from my empirical test results that on this frequency, about 7.2, 7.3, the vertical antenna, the 31 foot MFJ vertical antenna. SWR wise at that frequency was the best and it was much better than the other two. That's it. 
I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.